So in my lab, we're trying to uh, take, um, go from gaps in our basic understanding of how motor systems or movement systems work with uh, sensory systems and uh, fill those gaps and take what we've learned and translate it into technology that's beneficial to humanity. We've been working on this uh, weekly uh, electric fish, which are these fish which emit uh, a weak electric field as they hunt uh, in the dark environment of the Amazon basin. They're able to sense in all directions and um, in order to sense in all directions or in, a, in order to use the fact they can sense in all directions, they are able to move in all directions. So they have both omnidirectional sensing and omnidirectional movement. And so we've built a fish robot uh, which is actually able to move in the same way. So this is GhostBot. This is a fourth generation ribbon fin robot we've built. Uh, this one was built with, uh, in collaboration with Kenia uh, and Professor Michael Peshkin. What's uh, really unique about uh, this version is that we now have 32 independently controlled uh, fin rays on this robot which allow us to play back the actual movement of the fish. The other versions um, were too simple to play back um, the real movement of the, of the fish's fin. There is a very big need in, uh, in technology for vehicles which can move with higher agility. For example, in the BP oil disaster, we saw that the ROVs uh, were uh, so difficult to maneuver that they uh, sometimes slammed into the oil head, oil well head, and delayed uh, the capping operations for some weeks at a time. With our system, uh, we're recovering much of the agility of, the, uh, of these animals in their native habitat, which is um, many orders of magnitude better than current technology. And so we're really excited about push, pushing forward this into the field for uh, application to such problems as, as those.